Maltodextrin is basically a chain of glucose molecules that are easily broken down um, in our gastrointestinal tract. This means that um, we, when we eat maltodextrin, it's actually almost the same as having glucose in terms of how effective um, they are in, in terms of our performance. Um, on the other hand, comparison between glucose and uh, fructose is a bit more complex. These um, two monosaccharides have the same molecular for formulae, um, which means that they have exactly the same number of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Um, but the structure is different. So for example, fructose cannot be utilized by um, muscle tissue. So fructose, once ab being absorbed into the bloodstream, uh, it needs to be converted to glucose to be able to be utilized during exercise. The other thing is that fructose uses different um, transporters from the intestine into the bloodstream. So when we try, when we are having loads of carbohydrates during exercise, we are having more than 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. We actually have to add some more fructose because the intestinal transport for glucose is limited at 60 grams per hour. So by adding fructose, we can actually increase the absorption rate because uh, fructose uses a different transporter and this in turn means that we can get more sugar into the body and the carbohydrate availability is higher. At the same time, this also means that we prevent gastrointestinal discomfort um, because uh, we can actually uh, prevent building up of um, glucose in the intestine. <laughs>